In October of 2007, the face of entertainment would change forever. That's when the world would be introduced to a determined young man named Thad. Within weeks, Thad fever mania had swept the nation, or world, why not? Today, Thad is viewed by over a hundred people in two languages, English and Pig Latin. Ear day allery ve, I aunt way ute air way or ye ace fe, in seerly say, ad the. Thad's face adorns everything from t shirts to hit albums to shampoo bottle craft kits. It's animated with nothing but post it notes by the brilliant genius of Zack Smyrak. Me, Zack Smyrak. Join me, won't you? As I pull back the curtain and provide a rare look behind the scenes. This is your chance to witness all the hard work, ingenuity, and maybe a little magic that goes into the making of Thad. But Thad wasn't always the iconic hero that he is today. He was looking a little scruffier in this never before seen clip from the pilot episode of Thad. Hello, my name's Thad, and you're watching my brand new webcast show, coming to you live from my room. And if you think Thad looked different there, Wait till you see what he looked like in the doubly never before seen pilot to the pilot. Here's the complete entire episode in its complete entirety. Blah, 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 misunderstanding. <sighs> Valerie. Runaway box. I'm standing in front of the Runaway Box Animation Studios. This 96 floor installation was built at a cost of over 200 million dollars, specifically for the purpose of creating episodes of that. My office is on the top floor where, at my request, a team of artisans and engineers spent over two months creating an exact replica of my crappy apartment. The attention to detail is breathtaking. And this is where the magic happens. Stage one, the audio happens somehow. I think it's recorded by Greg from Man in the Box or something. You know, I don't really know or care how they work this stuff out. And luckily there's no way for us to figure it out without some sort of magic portal or something like, oh, really? Uh. No, I got the script right here. Yeah, it's crap. Yeah, I don't care though. As long as my check for $14 clears, I'll keep making these. All right. Now I gotta go. Cheaters is coming on. I wanna punch this out. Alright, later. <clears throat> Thad one, take one. Uh, hey, I'm Thad. Uh, I'm depressing. I'm a stalker. Whatever. Stalking's a big joke. Valerie. Uh. That's close enough. I had lived a little bit, but that should work. Stage two. I draw stuff. Before I animate anything, I plan out all the shots I'm going to need and sketch out a master template for each one on a separate piece of paper. At this point, I usually get bored and amuse myself by drawing something that makes no sense. The space I animate on is very small. Every detail has to be packed into a space only one inch in height. Only a bit bigger than my thumbprint. Stage 3. I draw the same stuff over and over again. Well, that's animation for you. I usually start out by taking a template sketch and putting it under a page in the notepad. I can see through the paper well enough to trace it out. I then flip the page, using the last trace to decide what I need to change on the next page. I then wash, rinse, and repeat. Stage 4. Capturing the Magic Now I have all the animations I need for the episode. It's important that I record all the flipbooks to video in exactly the same way, because I'll be editing them together in the computer. I mark a specific spot on the desk where I'll place the flipbooks, set up a tripod, and shove hella lights right up next to it. Point the camera down and flip away. Stage 5. Editing. I open up my editing software, lay down the audio track, and find chunks of the animation I recorded that match the sound. Absolutely nothing. 
Then I keep doing that over and over and over again until I have a THAD episode. When I'm actually drawing the episode, I make plans to loop most of the animation more than once here. I also use other tricks, such as flipping the image to make a character face right instead of left. Beard goes away. Beard comes back. Beard goes away. Beard comes back.